Presents coverage of high school volleyball. Tonight it's a Northwest Suburban Conference match between the Robbinsdale Armstrong Falcons and the Maple Grove Crimson. From Maple Grove High School, I'm John Jacobson, and these are two of the better teams in the Northwest Suburban Conference this year. Champlain Park has won the league the last couple of seasons. They're still at the top of the heap, but these two teams, along with Elk River, right behind them in the hunt for the conference title, and they hope much bigger things down the line when it comes to section play. We are getting down to near the end of the season in the regular season. Each team with one conference match left after tonight coming next Tuesday and with a tournament yet to play and then sections get underway in about two weeks. Maple Grove comes in with a 15 and one record. It's their best start in school history. Armstrong is 16 and four. It's one of their better starts in a number of years since their state tournament teams in the early 2000s. So both teams having outstanding years and this should be a good match tonight. These teams play in different sections but still an important match setting up the final conference match against an opponent to be determined again depending on how the teams finish in the regular season. The winner tonight will likely play Champlain Park next week on Tuesday before MEA. So it should be a good one tonight. We will take a break and come back with the first set. Armstrong, Maple Grove Volleyball next on CCX. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood or when people know your name? Connections make us a community for more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. As life gets busier than ever, we will still offer you a connected community experience through CCX Media, so you can stay connected to the place you call home. Welcome back to Maple Grove High School. Northwest Suburban Conference Volleyball tonight on this Thursday night. Maple Grove hosting Armstrong. Joining me for the telecast tonight, Joy Johnston, Spring Lake Park head coach. And Joy, you've had a chance to play against each of these teams. Your impressions of both the, the Falcons and the Crimson. Yeah, we have played both of them. We went uh, five sets with both of them. They're both very solid teams. Uh, Maple Grove, I think, is a little more balanced all around the court and have a little bit more... Um, control in every aspect. Um, Armstrong's a force we reckon with, though. They've got great defense. They get a lot of great balls up, and then they've got Lauren Clark, of course, on the outside. He's a big hitter. Clark had to do a Penn State in two years, mm -hmm. and they're having a good season. 16-4, and four, as I mentioned in the pregame, took third place in a couple of tournaments. Maple Grove just a one loss all season to uh, Champlain Park, a team they could face again next week in conference play. And potentially, mm -hmm. again, in the section tournament as well, yes, section 5-3-A. Look we'll at the Armstrong starters for tonight. And it's a, I think for both of these teams, a solid group of players, not just one player, although, like I mentioned, Lauren Clark, mm -hmm. perhaps the best player in this conference, or one of the best, certainly. Yep. But I think both teams have great supporting players and players who can complement complement each other and that's what's made them so definitely. successful on the court this fall. Yeah, definitely. You know, both sides have, have great setting, which is awesome. Um, that obviously is a huge part of it. If they can get a great setup, and usually a hitter can go get it. Maple Grove definitely has the advantage of having some young outsides, which help them. They also kind of can flip them back and forth between libero and outside hitting, which is nice. Um, Armstrong also has a great libero, though, and she does a really, really nice job in the back row. Look at the coaches. It's Aisha Khan with her back to us. She's been with this Maple Grove program the last uh, several years now, seven years to be exact. 16 and four overall, six and two in the Northwest Suburban Conference this year. And Sean Haugen was an assistant before he became the head coach. Here, fifth season as the head coach, and again, the best start in school history, off to a 15 and one record, and just the one loss coming in conference play. We've got a big tournament this weekend. They'll be down in Lakeville. So there'll be some 
Great competition down there yeah, for his see a team. Lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be a good warm up to get into sections. How much do you like those tournaments? Each team usually plays, typically plays in a couple of them each mm -hmm. year. You play best out of three, you get yep. a couple of either several matches in one day or spread over two days. Mm -hmm. Your girls like it? Do you like it as a coach? Um, I do like it. it, especially if you can get into some good ones and you see good competition, and then you see some teams that you don't always see. You know, I'm always looking for where can we go. We actually go to Bloomington Jefferson this weekend where we'll get to see a lot of opponents that we don't normally see. We'll also head up to Moorhead, and you get to see a different ball game up there too. So it's really nice. Um, you know, I used to probably my first year at Swing Lake Park, I had a lot of my turns at the beginning of the season because they were already set up. Um, Sean and I are good friends, and so we were always talking about it, and he was like, I like mine at the end of the season because you're kind of in your prime almost and hopefully still still trying to peak and gives you a great opportunity to get ready to go into sections. We are about set to go here in set one. You look at uh, Zoe Brown, Zoe and Lexi Preed, both juniors for Maple Grove. They sang the national anthem before yeah, tonight's they match. They job. might have been more nervous about doing that than actually playing. <laughs> Probably, I would be. Zoe Brown will serve to get us underway here in set one. Good little serve handled by Maddie Zanenko of Armstrong. They go to Lauren Clark, who dug up by Allison Hinsey and down. And the first point of the night off the chip goes to Maple Grove. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a force to be reckoned with on that right side. You know, she took out, took us out a lot and got a lot of great points by swinging on that right side. So one nothing Crimson is Brown serves again. Set the Clark, little change up hit there. Crimson ready for it and the attack blocked in the middle. Brenna Mayer getting up along with Riley Fry to block the hit. If you look at it again as it went to Paige Hinsey and the point for Armstrong. And they get another one here, a ball into the net for the Crimson. And so it's 2-1 Falcons. And their first serve of the night comes to their freshman center. And she's had a good season. Riley Fry, a third year on varsity, and gets an ace serve on her first serve of the night. Two in a row, and you don't usually see that very often from Paige Hinsey. She's a pretty solid passer in the back row. Outside it goes. Attack handled. Left side down. And a good dig up on the ball by Allison Hinsey, and then down for a point. That was all triggered by the good dig on the mm -hmm. attack from Clark and then the return ball by Paige, Paige Hiddensy down for a point. And she'll serve here. The team trailing by one. All in the middle and the attack from Mayer is dug up. Left side goes to Gray, the freshman hitter for Maple Grove. Inside, Creed, and it's handled by Fry. Clark again. Back row, Hinsey got it to the middle, and get a block for Sophie Vogel of Armstrong. They go back to Gray again. Falcons scrambling a little bit, but they get back in to play. Left side, pushed over deep, and down for a point for Skylar Gray. It's a very good spot. It's a nice little off speed from what they've been seeing. They've been getting some big hits in there, and then just tip to that corner, make that middle back try to move for it. So we're tied up at three. And this, they didn't get the pass up to set up Fry to be able to make a set there. And it goes off of her and out. And another point for the Crimson. They take the lead. Clark able to handle that mm -hmm. serve. Looks like Fry might have been into the net there. We get another Crimson point. They've run off four in a row. And it's 5-3 Maple Grove. Change up serve, a diving for it for Zanenko. Back set, Preed over. Go to Clark, he gets blocked out. You know, Lauren Clark, she might get blocked occasionally, but she definitely has the, the benefit of her strong arm swing that a lot of times it can go out of bounds off the block because she swings hard enough. 
Got a good serve there. Paige Hinsey over and then dropped and down for a crimson point. 6-4 Maple Grove. First serve tonight for Allison Hinsey. It's an ankle. Fry putting it up in the air for Schumacher. Set to the middle, the swing down for Sophie Vogel. Sophomore gets credit for the kill. Yeah, Sophie does some really nice things in the middle. She might not always be all power, but she makes a lot of really nice shots, and by turning that one to the libero, making her play it. Well, a good, strong block by the Falcons on the left side. Schumacher getting up, getting the block there. They go up on Preed, look at it again. Schumacher going up in tandem with Olivia Hecht. Let's well, another player in the net, this time Maple Grove. Armstrong's got the lead back now. It's seven to six. Hecht serving. To the net, yeah. the overpass, and heck, able to handle that. No problem, gets the kill. Definitely feels like there might be a little nerves out there with their passing, and a lot of balls are going really tight to the net, which puts back row setters in a really bad position. 8-6, Falcons. Allison Hinsey back up, Gray will bump it across. Fry's got to scramble for that one, and knocked across by Schumacher. Big attack from Gray, but missed it long. Ooh, looks like there's a net call oh, on Armstrong. Okay. That's always lucky. You always like those as the uh, coach that gets the point. So a point from Maple Grove with the net violation on the Falcons. Makes it 8-7. Let's see Creed serves long. First serve tonight for Sophie Vogel. Goes to Preed, handled back throw by Clark. Fry dumping it over, but Allison Hinsey ready for it. Fry gets another shot at it, and this time attacks and puts it down. You know, both of these teams are, are bad teams to overpass balls to. Their front row is very active, and they're very aggressive, and that ball comes over just enough, they're going to put it right back down. Biggest lead of the night here for Armstrong at three points. Creed's attack handled by Zaninko. Schumacher chips it down for a point. Andre Schumacher, four-year starter, five years in the program. And now we're team up by four. Vogel, too strong here. There's a point to the Crimson, 11-8. Rachel Eukstead, sophomore number eight, in for Armstrong. Sinenko, and over by Schumacher. Set, Hinsey gets blocked. Crimson respond, push it back over. Fry back set, and over by Hecht. Good set by Riley Fry and Olivia Hecht with the kill. It's definitely a nice swing. It's nice to see them, both sides, kind of trying to switch it up and change where they're hitting and not being predictable by just setting Lauren Clark or just their outsides. Zoe Brown with a quick set, and that is over. Annika Peeler gets her first kill tonight. Megan Piter in now for the Crimson as Peeler goes back to serve. A side Clark. Not on top of that ball and knocked it down for a kill. 
That's definitely what you can do. If you see here, they didn't quite get the block on her and a little bit of a, she went right on the outside of the middle and just a fast arm swing and put that ball to the ground. Two-time all-conference player. Gives her team a four-point lead of 13-9. Gray from the middle attacks, handled by Schumacher. And Hex into the net with a point back. We're back to Brown serving. She started the match. Mm. Right back to Armstrong. 14 Tim Falcons. And Fry serving. Served well her first rotation through. Creed tip. Okay. Looks like it was tipped. It was. Mm -hmm. Point for the Crimson. Yeah, Maple Grove is really trying to use their block on off of Armstrong, which is a smart game plan if you can just take them off a little bit and get a nice high ball off the block. Paige Hinsey tried to serve it short, unfortunately served it a little too short, and another one into the net for the Crimson. So back-to-back -back mm -hmm. serving errors for Maple Grove. A few too many unforced errors for Maple Grove right now. They need to kind of change that and flip it around. Brown setting it for Skyler Gray. That's a great swing. You know, she's a nice, uh, young, up-and-coming player that does a really nice job on the outside. I've seen her as Libero, too, and she does a really nice job there. Seems really composed and is really aggressive. And a third consecutive serving error from Maple Grove. The last three rotations. Back to a four-point Armstrong lead with Mayer serving. Back set to Preed. Clark will oh. take that, and then a little miscommunication there, and it's a missed ball between Mayer and Fry. And it drops. Maple Grove gets a point off an unforced Armstrong mm -hmm. error. Reed handles the attack from Schumacher. Gray gets blocked. Point Armstrong. And she definitely had the right idea with trying to tip. Unfortunately, that block was just too big and she went right into him. Comes back to Vogel. Good serve. Dug up by Allison Hinsey. Over by Gray. Set to Schumacher, off the block and down. And junior, one of three captains, along with Maddie Tanenko and Olivia Hecht on this Armstrong team. And we get our first timeout of the match here for Armstrong as they trail, or by Maple Grove, rather, mm -hmm. as they trail by five. Yeah, Maple Grove just having too many unforced errors right now. Just making a few too many errors. Uh, serving, obviously, their block isn't really quite as strong as they need it to be, and so they're getting used a lot off of that. Um, I feel like they look a little more nervous, and Armstrong looks a little more fired up and really ready to take on this challenge. Section play, as we mentioned, coming up in two weeks. For all teams with conference play wrapping up early next week. Tournaments for a lot of teams either this weekend or or MEA weekend mm -hmm. before they go into the postseason. Your Spring Lake Park team plays in section 4-3A, right? Yep, 4-3A, yep. Yeah, so Stillwater's leading it. So we'll see kind of where we stack up against that. If we happen to get the fifth seed, we'll end up on their side of the bracket. So. We'll see what happens. Out of the timeout, Armstrong trying to build on this five point first set lead. Round back, a really nice set and the attack from Peeler. Yeah, that was a nice swing. That was a good uh, variation on the, on the Maple Grove side. We haven't seen the middles do a whole lot yet. Nineteen fourteen with Gray serving. Quick back set. X gets blocked. 
Or to Schumacher, over, nice dig up by Paige Hinze, and over by Peeler, Zanko got to that. Clark from the middle. Still for Lauren Clark in point 19 for the Falcons. You know, Maple Grove is doing some great things on defense, like great digs by Hinze in, uh, as in left back, and then they get something up and no one's there for it. Push over and the kill for Peeler. Crimson trailing, can't really afford at this point to, to trade points. We need to go on a little run here late in this first set. Fry over by Hack. Little tip. Got it past that first row and down out of the court. And it's 20 to 15. Mm -hmm. And you know, Armstrong's in the rotations they want to be. They've got Lauren Clark in the front row and five points to go. So this is really where they try to push hard. Outside left, hit across by Paige Hinsey. Back goes to Armstrong and Clark, another kill. 21-15 Falcons. One more look at it. Good set by Riley Fry and Lauren Clark puts it away. Over pass here, Clark to Fry to the middle over by Mayer, Crimson Scramble, but they get to it. Back to Mayer. Gray got a piece of that. And then just a miss swing from the middle. And the ball hits the floor, and it's another Armstrong point. 22 15 Falcons. Back serve into the net. That's the turn Maple Grove needs if they can capitalize on it. But they do, like you said earlier, they've got to run some points when they have the ball. See if Brown can get the Crimson going in that vein here as she serves. Fly outside, Clark, cross the net, over. Attacking the kill from Vogel. And now it's 23-16. Fry serve. Down back to Paige Hinsey over. And down to the court. Good play by Hinsey. Right between Zemenko and Mayer. That's I got a, a hand on it, but that's it. Yeah, smart spot. That'll go as an ace. Drops it right in front of Lauren Clark, just over the net. It's a very gutsy serve at this point in the game when you when you go short and try to make the move for it, when you missed your last short one you went back for. A short again, Falcons mm -hmm. prepared for it this time. Back set goes to Clark. Allison Hensey oh. over and out. Just those Sinek. airs, those airs yeah. are killing them. Savanko wisely letting it hit the court. And now it's set point. Outside Gray, handled by Clark. Frile set outside for Schumacher. Good dig back row there by Paige Hinsey and down for the kill by Gray. A nice swing. They're going back to using the, the Armstrong block, which is what has gotten them quite a few of their kills this set. But no margin for error for the Crimson here. Still set point as Allison Hinsey serves. And that'll be oh. it for set one. Hard. Go ahead, sorry. I was going to say, it's a <laughs> tough way to, to lose, is. but that's the kind of the way that first set went for yep. Maple Grove, credit Armstrong. They played relatively mm -hmm. error-free in that they first did. set. Maple Grove made some mistakes, and it cost them 25-19. Mm -hmm. We'll take a break, come back, set two more high school volleyball on CCX Sports, coming to you live from Maple Grove High School after this timeout. Maybe he's 
really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Well, Thomas, you've got prediabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cooked my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Start a story. Adopt at theshelterpetproject.org. Twenty-five nineteen. Armstrong wins set one here at Maple Grove, our Northwest Suburban Conference volleyball match. John Jacobson and Spring Lake Park head coach Joy Johnston tonight. And Joy, what did you see Armstrong do well in that first set? Uh, I thought Armstrong passed really well at a serve receive. I think that's a big difference for them. You know, they ran their middles, I thought, a lot more than I'd seen them pass. And so if they can really get that passing and keep their passing, that's huge for them. They can run almost any of their options instead of just having to go to one player. And for Maple Grove, what, clean up the mistakes and clean it, it should up. be okay? Yeah, or, just yeah. so many unforced errors. And I think they're a more solid team than that. And so, you know, Four missed serves at least is, I think, uncharacteristic, but I think they also have times of high errors, so I think if they, they can definitely control that, that'll be a big game changer. Allison Hinsey will serve to start set two. No, no, it will be Armstrong, which is what I thought, but she had the ball yes. in her hand, <laughs> and it's Riley Fried, and that will start us off for Armstrong. Good first serve to get us underway here in set two. Creed gets fought back into play and down for an Armstrong point. Outside, Gray off the blockers, handled by Fry. He goes to Clark, she gets blocked. To Zeninko outside, over by Vogel, excuse me, by Mayer. And this one, another good play after that. Clark getting up for that one. You know, after after you lose your first set, you always kind of wonder what your team's going to do and how they're going to respond in the first couple points. And right now, Maple Grove is still struggling. Big block by Clark on what he freed there. Brown short set over by Hinsey. Clark again will change up here. Gray got a hand on it. Allison Hinsey over. Fry back set. Over by Mayer here with another play at the net. Good job by Allison Hinsey and sets up Gray for the kill. That was a really nice play. You know, it was a great up by Hinsey and then being able to push it out where the block wasn't already standing and had enough along the line that, you know, Skyler was able to just put that ball right down the middle. Back it goes to Clark, dug up by Brown. Hinsey to Preed, she gets blocked. 
Good block for Clark. And it's 3-1 Falcons. You know, Lexi's a big hitter for Maple Grove on the right side, and if she can't, she can't adjust to having a big block in front of her, that's going to ha really hurt them throughout the night. Clark serves. Gray got it. Brown tipped over by Peeler. Three two Falcons. The play went right over the block, over Vogel and Mayer. Gets the crimson a point as Preed serves. Tried and couldn't get that ball set right. Gets a point to the crimson. Reed back rows and Inko have that. Rye in the middle. Over by Schumacher, a little too strong. And the Crimson have their first lead in a while. Yeah, and definitely a couple errors right there by Armstrong that weren't quite as clean as what we had seen in the first set. Back set over by Mayer. Gray across. Nice dig by Zanenko. Try to Clark. Off of Allison Hinsey. Went off the rafters. Good job by the Crimson to pay attention to that ball and keep it in play. But then finally put away by Volo. Yeah, it's always a little crazy when you get some high balls up in ceilings like this that have a lot of stuff hanging down and, you know, some rafters up there and trying to stay controlled and play off of the rebound. An Inko serve off of Paige Hensey, but Crimson recover. Schumacher over. Creed Brown back set to Peeler yeah. off Zinenko for a point. Maple Grove back in front. That was another great slide by her. You know, it's a good, a good opportunity, especially when you're shorter outside for Armstrong's in the front row. Kind of take a take advantage of hitting line on that side. Back set over on the attack from Vogel. Paige Hinsey down the line for a point. You know, Paige Hinsey isn't the tallest outside hitter, but she's very smart. She knows what she needs to do with the ball, where her opportunities are, and she definitely takes advantage of that. Short set in the middle, and a good attack by Hacks gets the point. That was a nice turn. You know, a lot of middles, they just go to their right when they come in on quick sets in the middle, and that was a really nice turn to her left. Low goal. Gives one back on the serving air for Armstrong. Rare for them so far tonight. Mm -hmm. She'll come out, and it's a Yukstead back in. Healer serving, and oh. into the net. Gives it right back. <laughs> You always think of those as like a gift. You know, one team gives you it, and then all of a sudden you just give it right back, and you're like, well, I guess we didn't want that gift. Brown will tip over at the net oh. on that ball by Heider. Nice play of Allison Hinsey to get a hand on that ball. Here's Fry, back set, cross, packed with a kill. Falcons have tied it up. Now you can see here, Maple Grove doesn't look quite prepared. They went up with Fry, and they thought she, you know, the front row setter, she had the opportunity to dump, and so Paige Hinsey went up with her. Scramble it here, and that'll go with an ace. Andre Schumacher, the captain, four-year starter, fifth year in the program, good serve here. An attack oh. from Hinsey. Ball kept alive and then out. Point for Armstrong. And Schumacher serve. Give it back to Maple Grove. 9 8, Falcons by one. Crimson serving here in set two. Brown serve, 
End of the net play. Again, giveaway on the serve. 10 yeah, to 8. Four total so far, at least, for both teams. That's, that's already high when you're so low in the score. Pushed her over by Paige Hinsey, Schumacher. Fry outside, Clark. Allison Hinsey, Brown. Mm -hmm. Back Paige Hinsey, come back. Off the tape, didn't quite get over, and it's a point for Armstrong. Just couldn't get that one across. Mm -hmm. It's not quite high enough. Kick serves, another service error. Chin Z serve trying to get arm or Maple Grove back within a point, but can as Clark attacks off the tape and down. You know, it's usually a good game plan to serve. You know, if the outside is back passing, serve them, then they have to try to come up and hit. But Lauren Clark did a very good job there of getting a great pass and then still being controlled enough to get up and swing. Fry, she's had some good serves tonight and gets another ace. 13 9 Falcons. Off of Paige Hinsey. Here goes to Gray. He's got to back up on that ball a little bit. Trial set for Clark. A lot of power behind it, but mm -hmm. too strong and out for a crimson point. You know, this is the time of the game that Maple Grove needs to try to take advantage of this missed hit and this unforced error for Armstrong and try to turn it into some points for them. Clark this time changes it up and this pushes it over the block and down before the back row can come up and make a play on the ball. 14-10. Ball goes to Peeler. Point Maple Grove, tipped by Armstrong. That was a great play, a great pass, and then a nice swing by Peeler to put off, go right off the block and get a kill off of that. And they need to take advantage now and try to run some points together. 14-11. Back set, it cross, and down. The kill for Mayer. Brenda Mayer Jr. You know, it definitely looks like Paige, or Allison Hinsey there is expecting a hard driven ball and so her weight is back and she's not really ready to move and go get that ball off the block. 15-11 Falcons already lead one set to none here. Back set over to Peeler. Clark to the front row to Fry. And down, what an attack to the kill from Vogel. Yeah, Vogel's done some really nice things tonight. She's been there when she's been needed and has put some great swings into the court. Sinenko serves. Back row handled by Allison Hinsey. Goes to Gray. She gets blocked, but it's out of bounds. Point for the Crimson. Front roll, crossed by Fry. Allison Hinsey runs up on it, dropped over. And a point by Brown. And a lift called on Armstrong. Credit Zoe Brown with the kill. 16-13, Crimson back to within three. Ray floats a serve, Sinenko, Fry. Outside left, Schumacher can't get it over the tape. And... Coach Khan's going to take time out here. The team's still in front, but full of unforced errors here mm -hmm. in recent points. And let's kind of stop the flow there. Yeah, Maple Grove definitely in the last two points. Uh, Skyler's done a really great job of putting good balls in for serving. Um, you know, her first one got them out of system. This last one, uh, Maddie Zaninko was there, got a great pass off it, but then, of course, an unforced error for them. So this is definitely what Maple Grove needs. And they need to make sure that they're really trying to catch a flow here. It seems like they're a little out of rhythm tonight. 
So if they can try to string some points together, get a flow going on their side, they can get control of what they're doing instead of trying to always respond to what's happening. What's impressed me about Armstrong tonight is how well they've, they've played as a team. And mm -hmm. we, we talked about in the pregame about Lauren Clark and how good she is. And mm -hmm. she is as good as advertised, but not everything is going through her. They're getting right. a little, a lot of contributions from mm -hmm. other from other players. Which I think, you know, like I said earlier, I think it's a huge contributor to their passing because when we played them, majority of the balls did go to her. And so I think they're passing better and so they're able to get more people involved, which does really help them. It makes them a stronger team as a whole. Crimson trying to keep this momentum going out of the timeout as Gray serves again. Back set, but they kind of a miss set there by Fry. Didn't give Schumacher, much, or excuse me, uh, Vogel a chance really to attack that ball. And another Crimson point. 16-15. Gray will float it over for an ace. We're tied up. It's been a great service run for her. You know, four in a row, five in a row, and that was right there. It was perfect for getting that ace off of Clark. Set to the middle, across by Clark. It's like a pinsy. It's a long go. Armstrong gets the serve back. They take the lead back at 17 16. Quick set over by Peeler. Armstrong blocks out. Allison Hinsey back to Paige. She gets blocked. Fry and it's Hecht. Knocking the ball down. Fry and Hecht both there, and they give their team a two point lead. Peeler's attack down for a point. And that was a great swing, and that's obviously what they were trying to do the last play, and it just didn't quite work out. But that one, you know, she got no block up on her and was able to hit straight down the middle, and Clark just wasn't quite ready. Megan Piter back in in the middle for Maple Grove. Falcons scramble a little to the cross, and down by Hatch. Crimson elected to let it go. Drops in for an Armstrong point. Falcons by two, 19-17. Schumacher serving. Back row played by Gray. Allison Hinsey up to Page Hinsey. Zdenko to Fry. A side clock. Didn't quite clear the take. Point Crimson. Nineteen eighteen Falcons by one. Schumacher missed. <laughs> Trying to attack left side. We're tied at nineteen. You know, Armstrong now is the one making a few more errors ever since their, the timeout that they haven't quite come back quite as strong yet. Zoe Brown serves. Back set cross court hit. And a miss from Schumacher, excuse me, from uh, Hatt. The Crimson have the lead, 20 to 19. Come back nicely here in this set. Fry across to Clark. Brown to set and had it over Piter and not quite in a spot where a page engine could play it well. Break for the Falcons. They get the point. We're tied at 20. The, the fight for five now. Who's going to get right. there first? Back with the serve. And serves it long. Make a roll back in front. Lindsay serves. Fry set up Clark. This long, 22-20, Maple Grove. 
This is where Maple Grove really has to push. They need to try to be as clean as possible, not have unforced errors, and kind of let Armstrong. Oh, and there's oh, one. There's an unforced error right there. Gives Armstrong a much needed point. Mm -hmm. They now want to go down 23 20. And back to within one. Vogel rotates back in. And Fry to serve. Riley Fry has served well tonight. Brown outside to Skyler Gray. And there's point 23 for Maple Grove. Chipped by Armstrong. Which Khan didn't think so. Look at it again. Well, he got off a hand. At least that's what the official saw. Regardless, it's a point stands. 23-21. Clark. It's long again. Her second long miss in the last few points. Timeout Armstrong trying to stave off a set two loss here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they're fighting hard. They're, they may be, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes if they're actually a touch or it's just in and out. Um, but, you know, they're battling. They're really trying to do everything they can within their power. You know, getting a few, uh, a few points off of Armstrong is always nice when you're in this position. Um, but, you know, right now they've got to finish it because Armstrong isn't backing down by any means. So they're going to come out fighting just as hard, playing strong defense. Wouldn't be surprised if wherever the ball goes, Maddie's going to be there to dig that ball up on Armstrong's side. So Maple Grove just needs to come out and make sure that they're really fighting. They're giving it everything for one point. Crimson ready. Armstrong still in their huddle. All ready to go. 24-21. Maple Grove trying to even this up at a set of piece. Allison Hinsey serves. Oh, it might have been going long, but it goes to the point off of Schumacher, and Maple Grove has tied it up. Maple Grove definitely needed that. I think that'll fuel them a little bit going into the third set. So that was a great finish by them. And set two goes to the Crimson. We are tied up 1 1. Now it's down to a best of three. We'll take a break. Come back, more volleyball from Maple Grove High School after this timeout. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. As life gets busier than ever, we will still offer you a connected community experience through CCX Media, so you can stay connected to the place you call home. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. The color in my garden keeps the pink of my cheeks. I was very independent and thought I could take care of myself. I fell and I had to have meals on wheels. They're my savior. My name is Lola Silvestri. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. Armstrong wins set one, 25-19. Maple Grove wins set two, 25-21. And Joy Johnston, I thought, especially the last half of that second set, similar 
to the first set. Reverse rolls, though. Mm -hmm. Maple Grove out of unforced errors in set one. Armstrong there. Last half of that second set when they were up three, four points. You know, 15, 11, somewhere in there. Gave yeah. some points away. Yeah, it seems like, you know, that definitely the roles flipped. Maple Grove seemed more confident. Armstrong got a little shaky and got a little timid and weren't playing quite as much together as Maple Grove was. And they came a little bit on stronger at the end, which, you know, you always feel better about as a coach going into the next set. Having that strong ending, you know, ending on an ace is always great to go in. And hopefully then, you know, you can get a strong start going into the third set. Paige Hinsey will get the first serve of set three. Underway, attacked by Mayer in the middle. Crimson blocked that. They go to Clark. Paige Hinsey, and then Allison couldn't get around her sister to play that one, and it drops to the floor. And Armstrong gets the first point of set three. Fry serves. Back set and down. Let's see three. Name we didn't call it all early in that right. second set. Comes up and gets a big kill here. Yeah, and you know, this is kind of what we saw from her. A lot of big swings going down the line or cross court. Fry right side over by Clark. Brown will set it for Gray. Out. Point Armstrong. Definitely a great swing. You know, it's mm -hmm. sometimes it's worth the risk to try to, you know, just get a piece of that line. Clark serves in <laughs> into the net. Point. Maple Grove will tie the two. And this is the point I feel like as a coach, you wonder if you're going to pull in from the second set what happened and carry it through. Creed is it right back. Well, I've seen more <laughs> serves into the net I know. tonight. Sometimes we'll see, you know, we'll see serves yep. long, but not usually this many, mm -hmm. like directly into the net. That one clears. That was a great serve oh, just nice. over the tape and in front of Allison Hinsey and mm -hmm. goes as an ace. A great serve by Brenna Mayer. Yeah, it's hard to tell if they're if both teams are game playing and try to serve short, and that's why they're missing so many, or. Another ace right there. I feel like Allison Hinsey is usually really solid on serve receive, and I guess this one kind of just went between her and her sister, and neither of them really went for it. Serve into the net. We can't go more than about four points without <laughs> one of those. And it's kind of five, affecting the, the flow of the yeah, game. No doubt. 5 3 Falcons is Gray, the. Crimson freshman goes back to serve. Brian over by Schumacher. Preed back to that ball. Here's Paige Hinsey's an ankle diving to the floor to get to that. Clark runs up. And there's Paige Hinsey gets blocked. And it's an Armstrong point. Maple Grove definitely seems less confident when, when they get out of system, then they aren't really quite sure what to do with the block. Instead of trying to go around it, they seem to just go into it every time. Vogel serves. It's on left side, Paige Hinsey's dug up by Zanenko, oh. overpass, and Fry was ready for it. Paige Hinsey drops it over to the front row, and a great play by Schumacher to get to the ball. Hinsey had a backpedal on that ball, but did get to it. Schumacher attacking left side. Brown will dump it across. Goes to Clark, middle off of three for a kill. Good long rally, Armstrong point. That was a really nice swing by Clark in the back row. You know, for the most part, we've seen just a lot of um, down balls for her where she hasn't felt comfortable jumping. That was a great swing. Aldo is an ace for Vogel. Vogel's had a great serving night. Um, she didn't play quite as much against us, so I didn't get to see her quite as much serve, but she's been doing 
a great job back there. He's usually back there for multiple points, which is always what you want. 8-3. Back set across it over by Peeler. Zdenko to Clark. Dropped it over. Free gets to that. Tipped over by Brown. Fry will dump it. Allison Hinsey to play it. Now Paige Hinsey floats it over. Zdenko. Fry left side. Schumacher off of Gray. Tipped over by Zoe Brown. Another long rally here. Quick set in the middle. Hack sent back. Clark to Fry over. Freed gets to that ball. Dumped by Peeler. Nice dig by Vogel. Attack. Freed digs that ball up. Here's Gray. Back row Zeninko. Fry to Clark. It's blocked. Great play by Maple Grove that time. Annika mm -hmm. Peeler with the block. Timed it perfectly to end that long rally. And that was a very long rally. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of that so far. So that was a really great defensive effort on both sides. And then, you know, ending it with a block is always great. A well, much needed point for mm -hmm. the Crimson. Still early, but you don't want to go down by right. six. Instead, they're back to within four. Schumacher will get it right back, though. Nice set by Fry. And Andre Schumacher knocks it down. 9 4 Falcons. Good serve handled by Preed. Brown across. H. Hinsey is an ankle ready to dig that ball. Here's Clark. Allison Hinsey getting it up. And over by Paige Hinsey to the net. Paige Hinsey tips it over and down. Nicely done. Took enough off of it mm -hmm. to keep it in play. That's that smart play by her. She sees the court very well, and she finds a spot, and that's where she's going to put the ball. Nine to five, Armstrong lead. Fry will dump this back row. Gray, a great up on that ball. Paige Hinsey across. Clark to Fry in the middle of Hex. Hit the tape on that. Point Crimson. Yeah, it might, might not have been the be best set choice. She wasn't quite close enough to fry and then really wasn't quite ready in a good position to hit the ball. Fry back set for Hacked. And this one will go for a point. And sometimes as a defensive team, when you've got a, a big hitter like Clark, a lot of times, especially when you, your hitter's just made an error, you're expecting the next one to mm -hmm. go to Clark. Fry yep. makes a good decision. Yep. Goes that time to Hacked, and the Crimson caught a little yeah, off balance, definitely. I think. Yep. Oh, Preed gets on top of the ball and that sat down for a Crimson point. It was a great swing by her. You know, they definitely, Maple Grove needs to see more of that from her to really get back into this game and to start taking more control of the match. Well tipped across. Armstrong scrambles a bit. Clark, though, putting it back over. Brown, the outside to Gray. And up by Schumacher, but couldn't quite get it up to Fry to make a pass, to make a set, rather. And it's a crimson point. They're back to within two at 10 8. Trailed by five at 8 3. And they've chipped away at that. Paige Hensey serves. An easy play at the net for the crimson. And that's a one-point set to mm -hmm. nine. Definitely a smart serve. You know, the middle's coming into, into the middle in the front and short, and Paige served right at her, and she mishandled that. So there it is again. Good serve over. Here's Clark. Nice up. Allison Hinge, great dig on that ball. Three to cross. Pride of the middle gets blocked. That's the play. If you see the sideline, they're jumping around. They're excited on Maple Grove's side. I mean, that's the type of play that you get that big swing off Warren Clark and you dig that ball. That feels great. And then you finish it with a block. Finder's block makes it 10-10. Another good serve by Paige Hinsey. They go to Clark oh. again. Down for a point. Falcons go back in front. It was a very smart shot. You know, she was out way outside the antenna, which Hinsey pulled up, which is what you should do because cross court or sharp cross is her only shot, but she just put it a little bit deeper, so it was a very smart play by Clark. Fry serves. Right Ooh. to the middle. And the overpass, Sophie Vogel with the kill. 
Right, he's really served well tonight, I think. She has. She has really done a nice job back there. And, you know, it maybe hasn't gotten a ton of aces, gotten a few here and there, but it's all about putting him out of system and giving Armstrong the upper hand. And another <laughs> ace. First year for her at the high school level being a, a setter and done a nice job of running the Falcons offense and you can see that it's effective from the serve line as well. Gray, another overpass, and Clark will hammer that one down. You know, and there's four points right there off of her. Two overpasses by Maple Grove and two shank passes. So, I mean, that's huge for Armstrong to get that control back and just push. Oh. Shorts that one, puts that one short. An ace and a timeout for Maple Grove. <laughs> Riley yeah. Fry, a yeah. great run. That was a great mix-up, too. You know, she served four really hard and deep, and then this nice little soft floater that just dropped right in front of uh, Allison Hinsey, who just wasn't, wasn't quite expecting that. And that was a great play by her. The Falcons have regained their five-point lead that they had early at 8-3. to three. Mm. They're definitely answering back. You know, Maple Grove got some exciting things going on, and we're coming at them, and now... Armstrong's kind of taking it back and they're trying to just run with it. So it'll be interesting to see how, how Maple Grove responds after coming out of a timeout, maybe getting a little bit of, bit of a breather. Um, you know, their communication looks like it's breaking down a little bit. So if they could even just change that little bit of their game, that could be huge for them right now. These teams play in different sections, so they won't meet again this season. Unless they would each win their sections. <laughs> Section 6 AA is where Armstrong is, and Hopkins is a two time defending champion. Mm. And Section 5 is where Maple Grove plays, where Champlain Park has won the last three section titles. Free to cross. Mark gets it up. Fry a little over. Outside to Gray. Kill for Skylar Gray in the Crimson. Ends that 5-0 Armstrong run. It's always really impressive when you see a, a freshman hitter who does that well and is so young. High across. Vogel's ball dug up. Over by Gray. Mark will play it back to the middle. Fry to Schumacher. Okay. Point Armstrong. Yeah, just another, you know, another error by Maple Grove when that's probably a ball they would normally get up and just made a bad decision. Gray had a big hit <laughs> off of Fry. Oh, and she's oh, down. Gray comes down hard. And she Let's look at that again. landed awkwardly. Um, On her foot. <laughs> she's she's, she's like, telling her ah, coach that she's okay. I, I don't she need said, to come I'm out. Okay. <laughs> That's a tough girl right there. Sometimes it's that instant shock too when you come down funny that just hurts right away. And <laughs> Creed serving your team trailing by four now three. Go. Fry across and wide, and they hit for Mayer. And what the Falcons don't want here, and Aisha Khan's immediately left off the bench. Hey, hey let's mm -hmm. not start giving away points mm -hmm. like we did in set two. Yeah. Breed sir, just crawls over. Schumacher knocks it down. They get that point back. So it's 17 14 Falcons. Hecht back in for Zdenko. Back set attack from Peeler. To the middle over by Clark. Nice oh. tip over for a point by Brown. A smart play. Mm -hmm. You know, she's tried to dump a few times and it hasn't 
hasn't quite worked. They've been there. They've been ready to dig it up. But that one, they just kind of, you know, they all went into that, that campfire, the donut of the court, and none of them were able to get it. Oh, and you see Gray is going to the, to the end of the bench right now to see the trainer, see what that ankle, what the damage really is. We'll take a look at her uh, left ankle. We'll watch for the return of Skylar Gray. You're right, she immediately mm -hmm. said, I'm okay, but yep. we want to make sure. Looks like there must be some confusion at the table. Scoreboard here says 16-15. We believe it to be 17-15. <laughs> we'll see. If this is, oh. They've had some problems intermittently with this scoreboard here, so they're setting up a temporary one, or not a temporary one, a, a more of a mobile mm -hmm. one. There you see it. Yep. So there's your actual score. So it's actually what you see it on your screen at home, 18-15 Falcons. And now 18-16. Peeler to serve her team down by two here in set three. Backs up by Fry and over by Hecht. Off the tip by Maple Grove. 1916 Falcons. Set and over by Paige Hinsey, dug up nicely by Schumacher. Okay. Here's Clark, rolls it over. Paige Hinsey, a dump it. And got it down. Just past Eugstead. Yeah, it was a nice yeah, shot, nice right play. on the line. Brown serves. Try across for Clark, gets blocked. Great block, Creed mm -hmm. getting up along with Piter. It was all Creed. That, that was a great block, you know. Lexi was right on Clark right there. My two one point score in their match now in 1918. Crossover by Brown. Fry will set up Clark. This time gets over the block and down for a point. Sometimes that ball will, when you know you got to get it over the block, will rise on your fly on you and go mm -hmm. out. But she played it perfectly. Yeah, she just went at an angle and really hit that sharp corner. 20 to 18, Falcons. It's an angle serves. A Kinsey over for the kill. It was a great swing by Paige, you know, putting it right in between the middle back and the right back of Armstrong, and they, they were both just late going for the ball. Crimson down one. Try to the middle, over. Brown will set it up to Freed. Oh. Missed on that, and it hit it. Cut it down the left side of Armstrong, but hit it wide. It's a two-point lead again. 21-19, Falcons. Fry serving. Off Paige Hinsey. Brown will set a preed off the blockers for a point. Really nice swing. You see her going nice and high off the block. You know, taking, taking Clark's um, outside hand off and then um, the barrel just not quite ready for it. Oh. Good attack and the kill by Vogel. And they just responded in the exact same way, you know, taking that block and going inside the court on this one. That was a great swing. 22-20 Falcons. We're going between one and two points here. Clark, a good serve. Here's Preet attacking <laughs> off of Zenenko. Maple Grove point and back to within one. Another great swing from Lexi right there. Now they really need to go back and serve and take the lead. 
at least tie it. Freed serves an inko to the front row. Fry Ooh. and Bowler gets blocked. Peeler, another block, and we're tied at 22. Peeler's really done a nice job tonight up there at the net. Um, not the biggest middle, but definitely gets up and has great timing on her hitters. Freed trying to serve her team into the lead. Fry for Schumacher, mm -hmm. took a little bit off it, but too much off of it. Mm -hmm. And Maple Grove has a 23-22 lead and an Armstrong timeout. Yeah, you know, you could tell she was going a little bit safe, trying to make a smart shot, but just too short. You know, you're trying to go up and over the block and drop it right behind them, but and that kind of got in the way on that one for her. So Maple Grove up by one here. They made a nice rally here. Mm -hmm. Armstrong leading much of this set. A couple of five-point leads for the Falcons, but Maple Grove is dug in. Yeah, it's really um, gone back and forth for, yeah. you know, since that first big, you know, lead that Armstrong had. You know, Maple Grove came back, and then they went ahead again. They just kept coming back. They've been exchanging chunks of points instead of it being one for one until now. We've got 13 in the last 22 points. Excuse me, 13 in the last 20 points. The Falcons had a 15 to 10 lead after that mm -hmm. strong uh, serving run by Riley Fry. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see here. You know, Skylar Gray is not in the game. She must still be out with the trainer. Um, so they've got another outside. I think she might be a JV player um, in playing outside. So probably a non experience in this type of situation. Here's Clark, floats it across. Freed goes to the floor and then jumped over by Vogel on the overpass. It's definitely a smart play by Vogel. You know, Zoe Brown tried to go up with that ball on the turn, but it was just over quite already enough that Vogel got her hands on it. Elise Rossing, the freshman, and the nine, who's in with Gray out. And Armstrong gets the point. Timeout Maple Grove with set point coming for the Falcons. You know, and right there is just kind of the example. You know, Armstrong was down by a point, and now they're up by a point. It's kind of how the swing has gone within this, this match in general, but especially this set. Um, it'll be interesting to see who comes out, you know, ready to battle. Is Maple Grove going to come out and send this into extra points? Or, you know, is Armstrong going to come out and potentially serve him off the court again, which they've done quite a few times? Gray's come back from the training mm -hmm. room. Looks like they taped her ankle up, which usually you hope that you, you know, if there's any swelling, it'll just stay down and not not come up yet. Maybe give her an advantage that she can go back in and keep jumping on that ankle. No tears, so, you know, that's always right. a strong player. Right. I mean, you you got to love that. you got to love the kid that says, I'm good, I'm good, and gets right back up. Set point here for the Falcons. Brenna Mayer serves. Allison Hinsey handled it. Brown running up free to catch it. Mm. Oh, a little long. Oh, it was a tip. It was tipped by Maple Grove. And the set goes to Armstrong on the attack from Vogel. Mm -hmm. Maple Grove got a hand on it at the net. Look at it again. There's Preed's little run up. Ball hit across. Back set by Fry. Yeah, and they hand on it, and the kill for Sophie Vogel, yes. and the set goes to Armstrong. They win a 25-23, they lead at two sets to one. We'll take another timeout. More Northwest Suburban Conference Volleyball on CCX Sports after this timeout. I rescued Toast from a shelter in 2011. I love Toast because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special.
Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. John Jacobson with Joy Johnston tonight at Maple Grove High School. Armstrong up two sets to one on the Crimson Homecoming week here at Maple Grove. And playing football tomorrow night against Edina. The game there in week seven of the season. Both the Crimson soccer teams home tonight in section play. The boys played the five, girls playing now. Busy time of year it when you get to the time. end of the regular season. Soccer. Yep. Soccer and tennis already into their section playoffs. Yeah. It comes fast. It's mm -hmm. always crazy. Back in August, you never think it's coming right. this fast, and all of a sudden it's here. The winter season always seems to go so long for it, uh -huh. but the fall and the spring are <laughs> yep. over yeah. in a minute. Winter starts like. so early and go so far, it feels like. Underway here in set four. Falcons hoping to close it out, but the first point goes to Maple Grove. Annika Peeler. Big another, attack and swing in the middle for a point. Another great swing by her. You know, I'm really impressed with her tonight. You know, when we played them, um, their middles weren't a huge factor. It was really mainly Lexi Preed. Great as this one sail on her. We're tied up at one. Lauren Clark serves. We took we didn't call her name a lot there in that in that yeah. third set. Zanenko, good dig on that ball over by Schumacher. Pre digs that up. Paige Hinzeel floated across. Dig by Mayer. Here's Schumacher. Gray is back in there. Injured mm -hmm. late in set three, but ready to go here in set four and the Crimson get a point. Yeah, and there she is, you know, jumping and getting in on a block assist. So it's good to see her back in, and hopefully she can make a difference for the Maple Grove team in this set. And then Gray will serve here. Trying to extend this match to five sets. Cross, nice dig by Freed here in ball in the middle over by Allison Hinsey. There's Clark attacking off of Freed, and an easy play for Bogle to drop it down. Vogel's had a couple of those balls where yeah. it's just kind of, you know, get up and swipe it down and pick a side where no one is. She's been doing a great job at the net as a hitter and blocker and a great job at the service line. So she's really contributed well tonight. Over by Peeler. Three, two Crimson. And Alec Peeler to serve. Outside, across, Breed with the dig on the Schumacher ball. Paige Hinsey got it across. Back set. Across by Bogle. Hit it wide. Seems like Zoe Brown and Paige Hinsey have had a hard time connecting tonight. Every time Paige is already going in, and then the ball is not where she thought it would be and has to adjust and hasn't been getting great swings because of it. To the middle over. No, no, heck, couldn't get it over. It was. Heider was there. Just only had to get a little hand on that ball. It's not hit terribly high. And the senior middle gets the block. It's 5-2. Now 5-3. Grimson. Those missed serves again coming back to bite them once again. It's kind of been the theme tonight where they've mm -hmm. missed multiple in each set. Vogel serves it deep. Allison Hinsey got it. Here's Paige Hinsey. That was a great connection right there. That was exactly good timing by Paige, great placement by Zoe, and, you know, resulted in a great swing and a kill. Crimson by three with Brown serving. To the net. I don't think it ever got over. Mm -hmm. Double contact. Well, whistled on Armstrong.
Brown serves. Off Sinenko. Ball to Schumacher across and a big point for Armstrong. Seven to four, Audrey Schumacher serving. And then the net gives it right back. Eight four Crimson. <laughs> Jinzi serves. See the net over oh. by Fry. Nice play on a little setter dump play. Mm -hmm. Great spot to put that setter dump too. You know, a lot of times a ball like that, they're going to put it short, right? You know, right in the middle of the court, and she definitely pushed that back where the libero should have been, but she was reading her and coming up, so it was a great location. Nice scramble on that ball by Zoe Brown to get it. Zanenko, good dig. Here's Clark. Mm -hmm. Over. Off of three and Armstrong point. Maddie Zanenko has had a great game tonight. Just great defensively, great serve received. She definitely keeps that back row running. It's the serve here for the Falcons. Back set goes to Preed. Got a lot on that. Falcons ready for it. Here's Clark attacking. It's blocked. Mm. Whistle. Double contact again. Whistled against the Falcons. 9-6 Crimson. Allison Hinsey across. To the net. Pushed over again by Fry. You know, Maple, Maple Grove is serving aggressively and they've gotten some um, overpasses by Armstrong, but then they're just not ready for it. And they're, they're already out of position instead of being where they should be and be able to pass that up easily. Well, Fry serving. We've seen her serve well tonight. Another good serve here as the Crimson oh. scrambling. And Fry will get another point for her team. It's 9-8. Ball set right side, Preet across. Ball goes to Clark. Down to the floor goes Paige Hinsey. Here's Preet again, blocked. Brown over to Gray, will flip it across. Sonenko, back to Lauren Clark. Got up by Allison Hinsey. Preet gets blocked. Clark with the block for the Falcons. It's always hard to be the hitter to go up against the block where they're already standing. You know, they were already, Maple Grove was already on the right side of the court, and then uh, Preed got set again and just kind of didn't have an opportunity to really do anything different but hit into the block. Crimson will take that service here and mm -hmm. retake the lead at 10 to 9. Preed serves. Eight for Lexi Freed and the Crimson lead 11 to 9. Ooh. And it drops for an ace. Just inside the back line. Run for that's the Crimson here to put them up three. Yeah, that's always a lucky serve. That's always one you're going to take, and then hopefully you can. Back off. Good serve here. Nice. Off of Clark and out. Three aces in a row. We haven't seen that yet from Maple Grove tonight, so it's kind of a nice change. 13-9. Off of Clark. Handled by Volo, and Clark floats one over. Brown has set it back to Peeler. Austin Anko, Clark, his laps will be over by Schumacher. And a point for Maple Grove. Timeout, Armstrong. You know, lucky for Maple Grove in a couple of ways on that. You know, just a, a short free ball they're trying to send over, and then Zoe Brown kind of getting a little excited and going over the net. And, you know, if she would have contacted that ball, she would have been over 
and you know maple or armstrong's air would have been maple grove so kind of lucky on a couple areas right there that was a great run by them they definitely have to come back out of this timeout and keep pushing keep armstrong on the defense a little bit and kind of keep the upper hand if they really want to send this to five sets and we saw that in, in set three almost the exact same score mm -hmm. armstrong's up 15 10 maple grove <laughs> takes time out they're able to slow that momentum enough mm -hmm. to get back in and, and take the set or to, to force it late yeah. until yeah. Armstrong won, rather. Yeah. So it's about, you never really know if you're going to come out the same team right. from a timeout or if it's going to give them the upper the upper hand. So we'll see what Preed can do coming out of this because obviously you never really want to miss a serve out of a timeout, So especially after the great run she's been having. Fourteen nine Crimson. We're gonna push it to five here tonight. Good serve again by Preed. Fry sets up Vogel off of Paige Hinsey. Preed gets it back into the middle and back over by Paige Hinsey. A quick set over by Vogel back. Ooh. Brown trying to dump it across. And lift called on Armstrong at Crimson Point. Yeah, Clark just reached for that one a little too far. She wasn't up quite quick enough to actually block that ball. Short set, dumped across. Back over by Brown of Maple Grove. Set goes to Clark. Tipped by Maple Grove and a point for the Falcons. It's definitely a great run by Maple Grove. You know, Preed had some great defensive plays back here as well as her serving. So it was a great run. We'll see what they can do now if Armstrong responds with the same. Armstrong got a hand on it, and Clark gets it over. I mean, look at they were going to get that point. They do, and then Preed hits it into the net. Falcons end up get the point, and it's 15 to 11. Clark serves. Creed mm. and a kill for Creed. Another great swing by her, great location. You know, being the right side, you being used to hitting to the left or to the right side of the other court, taking off the setter, great decision. She had a nice fourth set here for mm. Maple Grove. Fry across to Schumacher. Front row tipped over by Paige Hinsey. Manko kept it alive over by Fry. Play at the net across by Allison Hinsey. Called her a back row attack. Back row attack. Libero up in the front. She jumped a little too high. She's a, she's a tall libero, so she doesn't have much wiggle room there. Big point for the Falcons, 16-12. Skyler Gray too strong. That's 16 13. There's that, that turn of events again. One side getting a bunch of points, and now Armstrong is responding and doing the same. There's Mayer serve. To the net. Brown on up there with Schumacher. Clark floats it over. Brown across for Paige Hinsey. Point mm -hmm. Maple Grove. Yeah, it was a nice swing. She went right off the block. Um, Vogel's on that right side, went off of her, and went right into the antenna. 17-13, Crimson lead with Peeler serving. Over by Fry. Down to Paige Hinsey, gets blocked. Great, great spot to dig that ball mm -hmm. up. Cross to Schumacher. Gray, another dig. Brown set, Paige Hinsey over. Off Fry, Zinenko attack from Clark and a point. <laughs> 17 14. Serve. Over by Preed, got it down. Another big point for Alexi Preed. And that's a great, 
uh, great example of your hitter kind of saving the passer. Wasn't a great pass by Skylar Gray, but you know she put a great ball into the court and scored. Brown serve. To the middle, Clark just caught tape. Brown got to the floor to get to that ball. Paige Hinsey attacks. Crimson by five. Another great swing here. You see Paige going high off the block and deep into the court, which, you know, went off a couple defenders. Great ball or big hitters that can hit straight down is awesome, but nice deep balls where he scores. Good, too. And served long by Brown gives the Falcons a much needed point. It's 1915. Schumacher serve over the tape. Outside Freed. No, it's one gonna go to Armstrong. Double contact whistled against Maple Grove. Reed attacks long. Armstrong definitely open. Here's a timeout with Maple Grove, which is probably a very smart choice because Armstrong was definitely gaining some speed right there, scoring a few points of their own, and then taking advantage of Maple Grove um, making a few errors, like right here with Lexi, just throwing that ball deep instead of you know getting it into the court where you can continue to play. Armstrong's definitely responding and you know, for them right now, they definitely have to come out hard. They have to come out strong. Maple Grove has to respond in the same, though. They have to make sure that they're not um, getting comfortable, that they have a lead, and they've really got to keep pushing and make sure that they're taking control and not making the errors and hopefully not waiting for Armstrong to make the errors and just driving their own game. Armstrong, with one tournament left, they'll be at the Rochester Century Tournament next weekend. Maple Grove actually with... Two tournaments are in Lakeville North this weekend mm -hmm. and then at Sartell mm -hmm. next weekend. Yeah, Sean, Sean loves that Sartell. You know, even back when I coached here, we went to Sartell and it's, it's JV, uh, JV Varsity, which is a lot of fun. It's a good day. You know, the girls aren't in school, so go play some volleyball. Nineteen seventeen Crimson by two. Armstrong trying to keep this momentum going and get it back on a service error. And it's twenty to seventeen Crimson. A Chinzy. A flat serve handled by Clark. Clark will spin oh. it just over the tape and down. That's a tough <laughs> angle. Yeah. Put it in the right spot. Yeah, it's a great shot, though. It's exactly what you want an outside to do when they get that type of ball. 20 to 18, it's an ankle serving. Mm. Round of the middle, across by Piter. Here comes Clark. 20 to 19. You know, and right out of the time out there, there's Armstrong. You know, getting a few more points, making sure that they're staying in it. It's never, it's never over until it's over in our conference. Set goes to Preed, to an ankle, and then over by Mayer. Here's Gray attacking block. Mayer and Fry, <laughs> twenty all. That's all Fry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Skyler had a good swing, but just hit right into Fry instead of trying to get it into the middle of the block where there was a little bit of a seam. It's an ankle trying to put the Falcons back in front. Paige Hinsey didn't get enough on that. Armstrong leads by one. To me, Maple Grove is trying to be too safe right now. They need to just continue to play their game, which has been a very aggressive game, and they need to just keep going hard. Nice and then go serve. Creed runs up on it. Handled by Schumacher. Fry tapped over. Left side Gray. Over by Fry. Falcons are, are the Crimson ready for it. 
Good dig by Zinenko on the gray attack. Clark over. Allison Hinsey got that. Back set. Freed off the tape and the Falcons and down. That was a nice swing. It was nice to see a swing. Like I said, they were being a little safe, so there were quite a few tips in there. So it was nice to see Freed go up with that aggressiveness and really make sure that she got a good swing on it. Zinenko digging that ball up off the serve. Over by Schumacher. Close to the net. Gray, though, able to get the swing down. Clark Fry will dump it over. Allison Hinsey gets to that ball. Over by Freed. Good dig up. Dumped over by Mayer. There's Gray across. Clark puts it up in the air. Fry back to Lauren Clark. Off of Allison Hinsey. Great play back to the middle by Brown. Oh, and then Allison Hinsey couldn't get it back over. Terrific effort, but Armstrong in the end gets the point. She had the right idea. She was trying to just set it just over the net, which is the right idea, but kind of misjudged where she was. 22-21 Falcons. Here's Peeler. Schumacher, nice job to get that ball up. She'll get another shot at it here and puts it across. Gray. Now you're a point for Armstrong. Double contact called on Maple Grove. 23-21. Armstrong trying to close out the match. Maple Grove takes time out. Yeah, Armstrong definitely came out firing. You know, they feel like they, or it feels like they've got the control. They definitely have the energy and the excitement. Um, Maple Grove feels like they're kind of panicking a little bit, not really making the smartest decisions. Um, and that's kind of hurting them right now. They're, they're not trusting what they do best, and they really want to battle here and come back and make sure that they're going to send it to five. They kind of need to do what they do and play their game. If you're Armstrong, you got to feel confident right now. You've come back from down five here in this set. Got the lead, now two points away from closing it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've you know they've had a pretty strong night. They've done a lot of good things on all aspects of this game, and they should feel really good right now. They definitely have the control and definitely have the ability to close it out in four. Crimson fans hoping for one more set. 23-21 Armstrong. Riley Fry who served so well tonight for the Falcons. Hoping to close it out for her team. Brown back to Freed. Point. Maple Grove. Lexi Freed who leads his team in kills. It's a huge one here. Mm -hmm. Another great swing by her. Exactly what they needed. Now she's back to serve. 23-22. Fry to Clark. Cuts it across. Freed got that. Brown's got to run to it. Freed into the net. Look it back and it's 24-22. Set and match point for the Falcons. Lauren Clark to serve. Zanenko, Fry, Schumacher over, dug up by Paige Hinsey. Here's Preet attacking long, and Armstrong wins it. Twenty-five, twenty-two. When they take the set, take the match, three sets to one, and just the second loss of the season mm -hmm. for Maple Grove, and a huge win for Armstrong here on the road. Oh, a huge win for Armstrong. You know, they've definitely battled hard. Our conference is very strong in all aspects, so they've had to battle throughout the season. But a great win for Armstrong. They looked great tonight. They did a lot of really good things. Um, you know, Maple Grove, of course, is probably hoping to take this and fight for our conference. They're still having an outstanding season, and going into sections, they're sitting in a really good position. We'll take time out. We'll come back, wrap things up here, here from the Falcons, as we continue with our coverage of section, or excuse me, of conference, <laughs> Volleyball Northwest Suburban Conference, 
sections will be coming soon enough. Back with more on CCX in just a moment. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. I rescued Toast from a shelter in 2011. I love Toast because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Great Northwest Suburban Conference Volleyball tonight on CCX. The Armstrong Falcons come to Maple Grove and they beat the Crimson three sets to one. Welcome back to Maple Grove High School. John Jacobson along with Lauren Clark and Maddie Sinenko, one of the captains. And Maddie, first of all, congratulations on the win. What does this mean to this team to beat a good Maple Grove team like this? Well, we knew that Maple Grove was definitely going to be an intense game considering like we played them in um, um, tournaments like before and like we've gone back and forth in between. So we knew that it was going to be a hard game and we just really came together and we brought it all together. You saw them in the Hopkins tournament, best yeah, out of three, yeah. and they, they took you that day. What did you see from that or what did you learn from that match that you think maybe helped you tonight? Oh, uh, we learned they have tough serves and they go line a lot. So we need to adjust like our block and our defense. And we really worked on our serve receive a lot. So that helped. That helped us. You guys fell behind in that fourth set, 14 and nine. Coach Khan takes time out. What was the message in that timeout? I think that we just needed to clean it up and just bring it together and come as a team and like work together. You get a few days off. Champlin Park, another shot at, at the Rebels. How much are you looking forward to, oh, to playing them again? We're really excited. I think it's going to be a really fun game. What has been gone well for your team that's made you so successful this season? Our team chemistry, for sure. Like, we all love each other. We've been with each other, like, for a couple years now, and we can work together really well, and that just helps it, helps it a lot. Enjoy this one. Good luck the rest Thank of the you. season. Thank you. Lauren Clark, a great win for your team. And uh, talk about that, that chemistry that Maddie mentioned and how much that has helped you, you girls on the court. Yeah, I think that 
when we kind of get down a little bit, we tend to kind of break off, but we really picked it up. We knew that Maple Grove was going to be a super tough team, and like Maddie said, we had played them in a couple of their tournaments before, and I think they were a really, really great team with awesome serves, and they could really place the ball, so I think us really coming together and having that energy as a team helped for a great win. Other than that, part of that second set, I thought you guys played pretty well as a team as far as not having too many errors. Did mm -hmm. you guys feel you played fairly clean match for the most part tonight? I think we played fairly clean in the second match. We kind of slipped up a little, but I think overall we played really clean. We uh, returned our services really well, so yeah. What does this win mean to your team, do you think? Um, well, this means we get to play Champlain at home, which we're really excited about. Uh, we definitely would like another chance to play against Champlain, and I think it's going to be a really great game. From what you saw of them and know of Champlain Park and their personnel, and I know you're familiar with them, what, what does it take to, to beat that team? Because not many teams have done it, and nobody's done it in the conference yet this year. Uh, yeah, um, I think we just really, like this game, have to come together as a team and have the most energy we have and also just kind of execute really well and just kind of read their players and block and hit just kind of everything. <laughs> Fun season for your team. Yes, definitely. Lauren, congratulations. Good Thank luck you. against Champlain Park. Thank you. Armstrong Falcons, a nice win for them here at Maple Grove. They go to 17-4 and four now on the season. And again, it's that crossover game between the two division leaders next Tuesday against Champlain Park to determine an overall champion for Northwest Suburban Conference Volleyball this season. Great match here tonight, and that will do it for our telecast, for all of our crew, and for Joy Johnston. I'm John Jacobson. Thanks for tuning in for our coverage of high school volleyball on CCX Sports.